Yo, Calvin here. So there is one place that you should never do a prank. That is in the airport because they take threats very, very seriously. It will land you in big, big trouble. So the story uh, is I am leaving my boyfriend at the airport after he pranked the TSA with a dildo. So she kind of punished him a bit too hard and she just was kind of curious to hear the guy's opinion on if did she went too far on punishment or was it justified all right let's read the story and see give some give you size give you guys some context and what is exactly going on here hey everyone i a 20 year old female really needed some outside perspective on whether i was too harsh on my boyfriend 29 year old male because of a recent incident my boyfriend loves practical jokes, and while some are genuinely funny, others can be a bit much. For example, he once switched all my skincare product with mayonnaise, and another time he filled my car with balloon. It's usually all in good fun, but sometimes it goes a bit too far. We planned this amazing vacation to the Caribbean, something I have been looking forward to for months. Everything was going smoothly until we got to the airport. Right before going through airport security, my boyfriend thought it would be hilarious to pull another prank. This time, he decided to stuff a dildo down his pants to make it look like he was unusually well indulged. Oh my goodness, that is... He sounds like a 16-year-old right now. Before I get keep going with the story, if you guys made it this far of the... Um, video be sure to give this video like an early thumbs up greatly appreciate it and let's get back with the story as you can imagine the security scanner pick up on something odd and he was pulled aside for a pat down when tsa agent asked him if he was carrying anything he should be he yelled out i have a big piece and i gonna use it and what i guess he thought it was funny tone literally everybody turned around and looked at us and it was so awkward oh no it would have been really, really awkward. A couple other TSA ran towards him. Then he pulled out the dildo and proudly announced, That's my big piece. Mm. Ooh, it's uh, cringy. Well, the TSA didn't find it funny. Both of us were taken to a back room and interrogated for over an hour, which led us to missing our flight. The agent went amused and they gave us a stern let lecture on security and appropriateness. I was so upset and embarrassed by the whole ordeal that I decided I couldn't handle going on the vacation anymore. So instead of waiting for the next available flight, I just went home. My boyfriend was annoyed and said I was overreacting since it was just a joke and that it we could just catch another flight. However, I feel like the print crossed a line especially considering the setting and the stress it caused. So really, am I the asshole for deciding to go home and mess out on our vacation because I couldn't deal with another potential joke or embarrassment? Let me know what you guys think. So, totally agree with the lady that this uh, joke went a bit too far because for one, you guys got a letter, like an hour letter on the airport like why is not this is not the place to play jokes on stuff and he yelled at he hold the dildo up and yell and like this is gonna be the piece i'm gonna be using is really really embarrassing and everyone else just wanna go through the flight and just catch the flight like nobody is there to like try to catch a joke it's like the airport is not a comedian so right you're not going to a comedian so and listen and laugh airport is for people just want to go to airport go to security and catch the flight nobody have time for joking this is not the right place for joke and i think the boyfriend didn't really like think it through that well with the pranks and jokes because he need to be really careful right some of the things he's doing is maybe a bit too far because another example he's they said that he put he switched out all the skincare with mayonnaise so what that means he had to empty the skincare, like the product is going to be expensive. He emptied it out and switched it with mayonnaise. Um, and also, like, maybe you, you see people apply skincare 
in the morning, right, when they leave for work, and usually somebody's are always in a hurry. So when you when you see apply skincare is mayonnaise, it just cause frustration instead of being funny. You know, some jokes are funny and some jokes are not that funny. Like I use you know, I try to like play like a joke to my girlfriend. Usually it's something like harness, like I would touch her arm arms and be like, let me see that muscle, let me see that muscle and see what flex and stuff. And I would laugh like it's harmless, but at the same time, I think it's super funny and really cute. Something like that, I think it's harmless would be pretty. But I think the boyfriend went way too far. I I I feel like she made the right decision to stay home because if she went on another vacation, you never know the boyfriend might pull another prank on her. Something like really really weird, maybe like um put the dildo in her bag or something and. When she tried to grab something to pay for it, something for like for like an item that she wanna buy, she accidentally grabbed the dildo and pulled it out, and everyone can kind of see the dildo. That's even more embarrassing, I think. And I don't think like the boyfriend understands that how embarrassing that was, and, and he was telling her that she is overreacting. But that is not the case. I feel like the boyfriend definitely crossed the line. Like it is a pretty. Like vacations are supposed to be, you want it to be as smooth as possible. You are not going on a vacation with it, like an eleven year old or a twelve year old, right? And that would be like understandable because they are they that is funny and you know, young boys can be naive. But the boyfriend sounds like he's like twenty something years old and to be a bit mature about it. And I feel like she definitely made the right decision to kind of go home, rethink everything, and be a mature. Person, cause there is times when you can uh, tell jokes and play a prank that is harness. Maybe in the Halloween, you know, Halloween you can dress up as a costume and play a prank scare on someone. But when you are in the airport, you wanna be serious. You just wanna get through security, get to your gate, hop on a flight, and get to that destination and have a good time. The boyfriend did exactly the opposite. Made everything ten times more stressful and made everyone stress out. And embarrass the girlfriend, so I don't think the girlfriend overreacted. That is the end of the video. If you guys have some comments and thought about the story, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. But yeah, my name is Kelvin, and I see you guys next one.